Hello everybody, my name is Kadamar, welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and finished off uh, the, the year itself. Uh, we got uh, to the uh, awards and stuff like that, and we won a couple of them, uh, especially the most important ones that we won were, uh, I think, not the match of the year, but we had the belt of the year, so we had the best title of the year, and the best company of the year. Which is fantastic. Uh, we unfortunately lost uh, for the nominations. We were nominated quite a lot, but we lost uh, when it came down to the best wrestler and stuff like that. But I mean, at least we got a bunch of good, uh, good uh, awards and all. So I'm really happy. We had a pretty good year. Our championship is super popular. So is uh, the women's championship already pretty popular, as you can see. So that's already fun in itself. Uh, we are going to introduce the Women's Championship in this pay-per-view at the first pay-per-view of January right here of the year. Mickey James is our brand new wrestler, boys. I managed to make uh, Gal Kim uh, from Jabroni to lower Mickey Carter. I'm going to try and make this do the same for Mickey James. Especially since she's going to be the new champ, right? I'm going to do... First thing I'm going to do is I'm already going to show you guys uh, real quick. Uh, well, first off, let's see. Go back to Manage View. Let's go back to how much do we have right here? Do we have enough heels and uh, faces right here? We got two, four, five, uh, five faces and two, four, five heels. Okay, so we do have, okay, we're good, we're good. Five heels, and uh, five faces and three, uh, three neutrals, I guess. Works out perfectly. So we're gonna do multi-match. Already know that the women's championship right here we're going to introduce it, boys, and we're going to actually make all the women uh, wrestlers that we have on our roster, which is four of them uh, right now. We're going to introduce the title right away, just like that. That's going to be the introduction to it. Uh, it's not going to be the main event. Obviously, it's a woman's title. It's the lowest uh, title available, but I'm still going to put it very, really up there. It's always going to be the main event. It's always going to be the ch world championship, though. <laughs> Make no mistake about that one. So let's go into it, boys. Uh, we're going to do a singles match for this one. We're just going to do another singles match. It's going to be the main event and all. There we go. Not uh, Do I need to do a, a gimmick? I think I do. Uh, last, my, uh, last time it was a night quit match. Let's do an LMS match between these two. Um, this one, do I want it to be... Um, do I want it to be an actual a gimmick match? I don't think I do. I don't want it to be a gimmick match. A a Eddie versus uh, ECW World Television Championship boys. I don't know if I want to uh, if I want it to be a multi-man match. I think I do. All right, so it's gonna be a multi-man. A uh, six of uh, the actually it's uh, for the upper mid carders. So let's just put everyone in in here. There we go. That's four wrestlers. I just need two of them. Right here, whoever's the most popular, I guess, Sting and Ricky. Well, I don't have a choice, actually, so I guess it's everybody in here. Yeah, everybody's going to wrestle for a title, I guess. There we go. All right, so that's going to be it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm basically uh, doing some some stuff, right? I'm ro rolling a wheel, right, to, to figure out whether or not I'm going for certain matches and, and, and stuff. So that's how it, it works for me. So we got that. ECW World Television. All right, so do we we don't go for any stipulations. It's just going to be a straight up six v six, boys. That's just how it's going to go. Uh, so it's going to be the ECW World Television match, women's championship match, and the ECW heavyweight match. All right, so those are all the ones that are going to be in the main event right here, the big time main event for January. We also have. Let me see really quick. A main event package. We are, yeah, we want to have main event package big time right here. And we have to get the debut thing, the debut uh, package for uh, our newest addition to the roster, which is Mickey James. We're going to up her up as much as possible, boys. Big time. So, debut package for her. We're going to bo uh, book it right here. And there it is. So, that's going to be the pay per view right here. An interesting pay-per-view. Um, no really big-time gimmick matches or anything, but a lot of wrestlers, like it's multi-man uh, matches and stuff like that. So it's going to be definitely interesting. 
And since it's January, I don't have a choice but to actually do gimmick matches now that I think about it. Yeah, you got to do gimmick matches if, if it's if it's a, a big main event, a big uh, pay-per-view. So what I'm going to do is, I think last time it was a non-sanction. Let's just do a tables match right here. And over here, it's going to be a street fight, street fight match. All right, so that's that. Let's book it. Let's do our thing, boys. Start the first pay-per-view of the day. Guilty as charged. We're starting a brand new year right here. Let's see what the fans want uh, as a result. They want Stone Cold to retain the title once again. They really like Stone Cold quite a lot. Uh, they want Lita to be the first champion, boys. Not going to happen, unfortunately. Rob Van Dam, they want him to win the title. They want him to be the next champ. Okay, I got you. So they wanted Rob Van Dam to win the title. Eddie's been champ for one month only. So that's uh, quite interesting. They don't want uh, Eddie to win anymore. Actually, Eddie is undefeated when you think about it. He hasn't lost a single time. That's quite interesting. He's been injured for quite a while as well, though. He missed out on almost the entire year. But uh, he's undefeated. He's about to have his first loss. That's quite a big deal. That's a big deal, boys. That's the opposite of uh, Mr. Perfect, who has is about to be 0-11. That's crazy. All right. Well, Eddie, Eddie, did, I think it's your time. I get uh, or Rob and them. I think it's your time. There we go, buddy. Get the win, buddy. So, not a four star. Not even a four star. It's not that good of a match. It's an okay match, I guess. Uh, street fight match decrease for this event. I think street fight wasn't very suiting for any of these guys. I guess except for Rob and them. It uh, definitely helped him out uh, boost-wise and everything. He gained a lot of popularity for that from that win, boys. But, yeah, I don't know. Where is Eddie, by the way? I think Eddie is a main eventer. Yeah, I think that's why they wanted Rob and them to win. Because Eddie is a main eventer now. So, they wanted him. The fans wanted him out of the upper mid-card spot, I guess. They didn't want him to st get stuck out there. They wanted him to probably get a, a shot at the main title. But Rob Van Dam uh, has got the title here, boys. He's got it. He did it. He did it. So good for him, buddy. Good for him. Mickey James. Let's see what we got. Debut package. 100% effectiveness. Gets a lot of a big boost, popularity boost, and everything. That's fantastic. Her actual match for the women's title, boys. Fatal's four-way tables match to start it up. Mickey James is gonna win it all, boys. Boom, just like that. She's going to get a huge boost from that. Other ones are going to decrease. Actually, uh, Lita gained some overness from that. So that's good for her. Uh, the other ones, though, they all gained some, lost some popularity and all. But doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Gail Kim, that's her first loss officially as well. But uh, Mickey James, congratulations. You're our first woman, uh, woman's champion. Now we got a main event package right here. 80% effectiveness, so not that effective. We're, we'll see though. It's it's still pretty good. It still helps out the main event. LMS match between these two. They wanted Stone Cold to retain. And uh, I'm thinking about doing the same, to be honest. Yeah. So Stone Cold, uh, do I want to add a finish to this? We already did the screw job. And by any means would mean to turn the the uh, the wrestler around. So it would, uh, the uh, Stone Cold would turn heel, basically. But uh, Ric Flair is already, he's a neutral. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I, if I want Stone Cold to be heel right now. What is he? Is he um, a natural? Oh, he's just got natural charisma. So he can do it if he wants. He can turn heel, boys. No problem. Yeah, I think I kind of want to do that, boys. Let's turn the Stone Cold heel. Why not? Let's do by any means. Uh, Stone Cold's going to turn heel. So he's going to uh, phase goes to extreme length to, in order to win. Let's do it. Stone Cold turns heel in order to win the match once again, right? He, he goes by any means to do it. So turns heel just like that. As long as you don't have natural babyface or natural heel, uh, you can change spot uh, back and forth. I don't care about it too much. So there it is. So Stone Cold's a heel now. We've got by any means. So one, two, three, four, five, five, and uh, almost six stars. Almost a six star match, boys. Really good match. Uh, Ric Flair bled like crazy as well. <laughs> it's his style to do that for, for sure. These two are hyped up like crazy. They're having some good matches. A really good feud between these two. 
Stone Cold power bomb Ric Flair off the ramp and onto the tables below. Wow, that's a good one. So Extreme Championship. Uh, let's find out the pay per view itself. Uh, a four and a half star pay per view. So it's always a four and a half star, pretty much. It doesn't change uh, a lot in that perspective. Guilty as charge went up. 93k fans right here, boys. Showed up to the uh, the, the thing. We're really getting up there in terms of um, of popularity. We're we're gonna pass WCW soon enough. We're gonna pass them, boys. And WWF is starting to gain some fans back uh, over and out. So pretty good across the board. Really good. I'm really happy. W oh, Mickey James wants to go out already. She. I just. Man, I just gave you the title. What are you on about? You're probably happy, right? Is she happy? Yeah, she's 100% happy, so I can keep her. No problem. Decline. Yeah, you're not going to WWF. Forget about that, Mickey. I'm literally training you. I'm giving you the big push because you're my newest girl. You got the title, the first woman's champion. She already wants to, to get out of here. Like, calm the fuck on. Shit's ridiculous, boys. Makes no sense. She's already a lower mid card, though. All right. All right, so from that, she went from 100 to 75%. See the the huge uh, decrease that it gives uh, a, a, a person? Shit's crazy, boys. All right, so uh, training. Uh, Gail Kim still got the training um, going on for another two months. So she's uh, still going to be training for another two months, which is fine. A baby face, so... Do I want to... Where's Sting at? Sting is a natural baby face, right? Yes, yeah, so I gotta change his alignment. I gotta put him as a baby face. I gotta put Sting as a baby face, boys. Uh, yeah, if you have a natural alignment that's basically your face or natural heel or natural face, you gotta stick to that alignment itself. Alright, so let's book the next pay-per-view. Uh, Cyber Slam. Now, interesting pay-per-view. February, we're gonna see what we can do. First match, of course, for the uh, the main event for the title and stuff. It's going to be another 1v1. Now, we're going to actually blow it off this time around. It's time to blow off the, uh, this feud. It's a big time feud. That's 171 of hype, boys. Big time feud. We're not going to get any stipulation to it. It's just going to be a regular match, I guess. Next up, for the ECW Championship, it says I want to go for... Uh, singles match as well. So we're going to start out a few between Rob Van Dam and somebody else. He's a face. We want to go for a heel. Uh, if we want to go for a feud right here. So we could go for Kurt. Oh, actually, we don't want to go for any of these guys. Because, yeah, it's for the uh, upper mid card. That's right. So we could go for neutral or a heel right here. So not Lita. But one of these, two, uh, these three. Whoever's the most happy right now, I guess. See, Jake deserves a little bit of a shot right here. But the thing is, he's so unhappy. He's super unhappy right now. 36% unhappiness, boys. We got a ring general and Chris Benoit could be a good uh, champion. He was a former champ after all. And we got Trish Stratus, former champ as well. I don't know. Uh, maybe we could get her. I don't, I'm not sure, boys. I feel like we should get somebody else right here, though. I don't know. I don't know which one I want to get right here. Well, see, the thing is, I can't go for Trish, actually, because they already had a, had a feud between them uh, earlier on, right? For the ti that title. So I can't get a feud because it's going to get cooled down. So I got to go for one of these guys. And uh, the most over right now is Jake Roberts. He's the one that's the most over right now. So we'll just give him the chance right here. We'll give him a chance. For the title, why not uh, give you a chance for it? So click the edit button. We're gonna add a feud between these two. Let's see what we got. So my previous, uh, that's my also previous champion. We could do that. Old and champion. We could do the uh, retirement thing, boys. We could do that. Redemption, redemption, uh, corruption as well. I don't want to do that. New challenger. I already did that before. I think either that's my title or all or nothing. I guess. Olden champion, right? I think that would be a really good one. Especially for someone like Jake Roberts. Uh, he's getting up there in age. If we uh, if we just get rid of it really quick. Uh, we're going to see his age really quick. What is? Well, if he's 46. He's not, that, he's not that old. He can still go. His work rate's not that good though. 
So I'm kind of thinking, that's why I'm kind of thinking that way, boys. So, you know, I kind of want to do it. Kind of do, uh, I kind of want to do it. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to add a feud and we're going to do old versus, ch uh, old and champion. All or nothing, boys. So uh, uh, by the blow off, by the end of it, in the blow off, if Jake Roberts doesn't win, he's going to have to retire, basically. That's how it's going to go off. Uh, so he's got to either win the title in the blow off or get, be champion in the blow off or he's going to just retire. So that's an interesting one. And we're not going to get any stipulation to that one. Mickey James, she's going to defend her title up against one of the three girls. Uh, so we're going to be doing uh, a 1v1 for that one. I want to start a feud up. She's a heel, so it's going to be a face. Or neutral. Everybody else is a face or a neutral, anyways. So let's see which one of them is the most Im interesting one. We've got uh, a ninety-eight. Okay, so yeah, Lita is the most uh, famous one right now. So you're gonna do Mickey James versus Lita. We're gonna add a feud up uh, right here for these two, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do stepping up, or this is our home. Let's do stepping up. Lower versus upper. So that's gonna boost up Mickey James quite a lot since I'm getting an actual, I'm giving her an actual like boost and stuff like that. I'm giving her a, bo uh, a push. The rest is kind of a history. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna be doing right here. Uh, I think I just want to do uh, the random booker and stuff. I'm gonna let the AI decide maximum amount of matches and all. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so that's perfect. We got maximum amount of matches. We're going to remove these feuds though. I don't want any feuds uh, going on right now. So Chris Benoit is not wrestling. It looks like we're just going to put these match in between. I think I'm just going to, I guess, Gail Kim versus Trish Stratus could be a good one. We're going to keep these two there. I think I'm going to just put Kurt Inning and Sting versus Chris Benoit right here. So we're just going to do that really quick. We're going to add these three up, up against each other. And they're going to be there. So that's going to be the match. And uh, no stipulation whatsoever to these ones. I guess because they were all, they, they weren't made by me. So they're not going to get any stipulation. So no special uh, matches or anything this time around. Production. Let's go for the main event, boys. Do the same thing as always. So go for the main event right here. Boost the main event up. Production-wise, do we want to actually... Boost up that one. It always he was boost up, right? So we can't do it again. Video package. I could always do a promo battle as well. That is one thing I can do is do a promo battle. Or maybe, you know what? Uh, faction alignment, a repeatable feud. Promo battle, yeah. Fight, push up, contest, lime. We can do that. Like speaking on the mic and stuff. Unlikely partners. Well, it is a feud blow off. Ric Flair and, Rick, uh, and Stone Cold. So we can do one of those. Mutual respect. Moving on. Proven winner. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do proven winner for this. Boom. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. So we're going to do like a backstage uh, interview and stuff like that. Right before the main event. That's what we're going to do. So proven winner. We're going to do that right before the main event. Just like that. ECW. I think everything's fine. So we can uh, up on in, boys. We can up on in and do our thing. So Cyber Slam, next big pay-per-view right here. I like these colors quite a lot for the pay-per-views, boys. I really like it. Let's see what the fans want. They want 60% Stone Cold to win, 40% Ric Flair to win. So it's up to the game, I guess. It's going to be up to the game. Because uh, it's uh, really close right now. The fans don't really know what they want, to be honest. So that's crazy. The same thing for Eddie versus Ricky. They don't exactly know what they want for these two matches. Okay, I got you. They want Rob Van Dam to retain the title, though. Uh, Sting to win the triple threat. Mickey James to retain, so they want her to retain. And uh, they want a no contest for Gail Kim and Trish Stratus. Really? They want a no contest? You gotta be shitting me. That's, uh, I don't know about that one. All right, well, no contest between these two. Let's see. Because if it's a no contest, that means it's a disqual disqualification or something like that. I don't, I don't want to see that. Switch alliances. Now, what is Miss uh, Mrs. Elizabeth is um, a heel, right? 
Yeah, she's a heal, I think. She's not a neutral. And she's with uh, Trish Stratus, which is a neutral. Gail Kim is a phase, though. Uh, do I want to switch Miss Elizabeth around and give her away to a uh, Gail Kim, for example? I could do that. Like do a switch alliances and stuff like that. Or just throw in the towel. I could always do that. It always helps out, right? I'm not going to do any stipulation right here. I'm just going to do a straight up match. I'm just going to simulate. I don't want to do a no contest. That's bullshit. I, I'm not doing a no contest. So Trish wins. Stop and start action. So that's a bad one. It's a, It was very slow. A slow beginning basically, boys. So bad one. But Trish won the match. There we go. She got a W, boys. She got a W. Gil Kim, though, um, got a loss. But that's uh, that's okay. That's okay, boys. She's uh, she's going to come back for it eventually. Mickey James is going to get, obviously, big time start. She's going to get the screw job finish. There we go. Mickey James wins via screw job. That's ups, uh, ups the, uh, the match as well right there. That's really good. And the match was really good, so it helped out both of them. I like that quite a lot. I like when it does that. Quite a lot. So 27% right here. There we go. Uh, just like that of popularity going up. So Lita's popularity is going up and everything. Uh, fortunately, she's starting to be... Uh, she's going to start to be really unhappy though. Got to be careful as well for her. Triple threat mat between these three. They wanted Sting to win that one. Mr. Perfect cannot catch a break, boys. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I gotta get some wins for Mr. Perfect right here. He's super unhappy. If it's not a title match, I'll just make give the win to whoever is the most unhappy right now. That's just how I gotta roll right now, boys. Mr. Perfect is just too unhappy right now. So I gotta give him a win. There it is. First W for Mr. Perfect. Just like that, boys. Four star. I uh, probably would have a better match if the fans were actually... Uh, had what they wanted, which was Sting, right? He's the uh, the guy that's over right now. But I have to give a win to Mr. Perfect right now. I just got to. I got to. I mean, he was uh, 0 and 11 for Christ's sake. I can't just keep it uh, going down like that. All right. So this is a championship match. They did want Rob Van Dam to retain the title right here. They don't want uh, Jake to win uh, right now. So they want Rob to uh, to win. I'll give them what they want. Uh, I can't do the screw job finish. It was already held in the um, uh, for this match right here. So let's just give a straight up win to Rob Van Dam for the first uh, first match right here of their feud. So uh, not even a four star, not too good of a match. I think it's not. It doesn't help out, right? When the when the wrestlers are actually unhappy, it really doesn't help out. They gotta be happy, and uh, that's how the matches go up. Uh, Rick, uh, Ricky versus Eddie. I don't actually remember who did they want. I don't care. I don't care who they wanted to uh, to win. I think uh, I want to go for the one that's the most uh, unhappy right now. It seems like it's Eddie. So I want to give the win to Eddie right here. Is there a special finish I can do? Nope. So let's just give the straight up win to Eddie. Really uh, a good match. There we go. Four and a half star. Which means that every, both of them went up in overness and popularity. I like to see that. And morale change as well. They both are going up in morale. So that's good. Uh, a Latino eat for uh, the gimmick for Eddie is going up as well. That, that's perfect. That's really perfect. Right. Proven winner, boys. The segment. We, uh, Ric Flair wins the, uh, the promo battle right here. All right. 100% effectiveness. Now, the problem is it didn't go up too much, though. It's not a big time star match. So it is what it is, I guess. Main event package, there we go, promoted in the match as much as possible. So the match is really big time promoted. Blow off match, boys. This is going to be their final match for a while right here between the just these two. So Ric Flair versus Stone Cold. Uh, they wanted Stone Cold to retain, I believe, right? Yeah, I think they wanted Stone Cold. Well, no, actually, they didn't. They didn't. They weren't sure, right? They weren't. The fans weren't sure. So they 60% wanted Stone Cold to win, 40% wanted Ric Flair to win. So I'll give that to the um, the randomness. The randomness is gonna have to decide what to do. I'm gonna do a respectful end. There we go. Heel turns face. So Stone Cold turned heel. He's gonna turn face back again. He's gonna re go back as a face once again. Just doing big show things, I guess. Face heel uh, all across the board. 
Uh, we're going to do uh, simulate. Uh, there we go. We're just going to do that. Respectful and simulate. And boom. So we got a respectful and Ric Flair wins the title. Stone Cold bled in the match. And uh, Stone Cold becomes a face in the process. So he becomes a face once again. Really good feud between these two. Uh, this was another five star pay, uh, faster match. Really good, boys. Um, that's really helping out my my matches. When I have matches that are kind of disappointing like this one, it really helps out to have a really good main event every single time. It really does, boys. So ending the event right here, another four and a half star pay-per-view. Uh, just like always, everybody's basically going up and everything. Gelkim is not over anymore with the fans or boost uh, or remove and stuff. That's unfortunate, but that's just how it goes in business. Stone Cold just turned face. He bled in a match. Sting is no longer a face of the company. All right. Extreme Wrestling Championships are our company went up in terms of XP. That's really good. Let's see. We just gained 42k fans just like that. We are almost, we're getting closer to the million mark, boys. We're really getting closer uh, to that mark. Super Brawl was a big success. No Way Out was a massive decrease right here. Disappointment, I guess. Uh, it looks like we might get, might lose uh, Gal Kim right here. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. All my, all my wrestling uh, women wrestlers want to go away for some reason. Let me see really quick. Is she unhappy? No, she's very happy. She's 98% happy. I'm keeping her. If they're happy, I'm keeping them, boys. I'm going to decline. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Don't know why every single one of my wrestlers want to go away, boys. But it's so annoying. No, there we go. So I'm giving you the following goals for this year. Get, get Chris Benoit over with the fans. They want, they want, to get, uh, they want me to push Chris Benoit, I guess. Uh, Part-timers. So Ricky Steamboat is now our part-timer. Okay, I guess. Uh, potential contract changes, trade losses, contract changes. Um, that's about it. So that's the only thing that's happened. Oh, they're good training. So XP work rate for uh, more work rate for Chris Benoit. That's really good. Uh, interest development. Uh, Paul Eamon. Hey, pal. You up? Sorry to message you at four in the morning. Couldn't sleep. Yo, Paul, what the hell? Why are you messaging me, texting me at uh, 4 a.m. right now? What the hell? Oh, Paul Eamon, man. I swear. All right, so Ricky, I, I'm, I'm not uh, going to allow. I'm going to do ring return. No, not ring return, but um, re-sign plus. So we're going to do that with Ricky Steamboat. I am not going to allow anybody to actually re like I, uh, to actually go away like that, to uh, be a part-timer. Not going to allow them. If they want to retire, they retire, but I'm not going to uh, let them be a part-timer. That's not going to happen. So we still got Paul Eamon and Miss Elizabeth. It's March. Next month is going to be a big pay-per-view. So it's time to go look into Indies, boys, and go look for our next roster for ne uh, that we're going to push for the, the newest addition to our roster, basically, for the next month. I'm kind of actually interested in having another, like a, a, another manager, someone like Paul Bearer. Like, uh, that would be really good. Another uh, Paul Bearer or... Or even Bobby Enon, right? I think I, I did see Bobby Enon as an option. He is. There we go. There he is. Bobby Enon, boys. He's an option. Entertainer. Comedy shops. You know, he could be a really good one. A really good manager. That would be a fantastic manager. I kind of want to have him. We're going to have him. He's a natural heel, though. So he needs to be uh, with a heel. So we're going we're gonna to add him up. I like having managers in my team, boys. I just like having that. So he's going to be the newest addition to our roster. We're not going to have any new wrestlers. We're just going to have someone that's uh, a manager for us. So we're going to do one last pay-per-view before ending it. Let's see the for the main event. What's it going to be? It's going to be a triple threat apparently. So Riffler is going to defend his title against uh, Sting. It says to go for Sting right here. So we're going to listen to the fans. Uh, they uh, Sting is super over right now. So we want to give it to Sting. So Riffler versus Sting. And somebody else as well. So he's a face. Uh, we kind of need a heel to perfect it up. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to do. It's either going to be Eddie or Kurt. Kurt is not too happy right now. It doesn't truly deserve it. I'm going to give a chance to Eddie. There we go. Give a chance uh, for Eddie right here. So this is going to be our main event. 
Uh, no stipulation whatsoever into it. The next stop is going to be Rob Van Dam. So Rob Van Dam versus Jake was the, the main feud right here. Let's see. It is going to be a 1v1. And there's no gonna, there's not going to be any stipulation to it. So we're going to keep it like that. Mickey James versus Lita. Is it going to be a multi-man match? It's just going to be a singles match. All right. Just a singles match. No stipulations to it either, boys. Nothing crazy. Just regular matches, I guess. All right. All right. I see you. And it's actually more, uh, more popular than the ECW championship. We're going to move him up then. Move it up. Uh, all right. So next up, what do we want? We uh, we got these three. I guess the the next thing would be uh, what type of match do we want? Uh, I guess I can't go for five, so I'm just gonna go for a six way. We're gonna go for the six way, I guess, boys. Just like that. And we're gonna put it in between right there. So there's the six way. Uh, no uh, no gimmick whatsoever. So no uh, no gimmicks, boys. So just a six uh, a six way right here. These are gonna be a matches. Uh, let's see really quick. Um, feud. Do we want to do a feud package? I think I do want to do a feud package. Move up. Uh, especially. I think I'm going to move up this one. Just give them as much potential as possible for the woman. Right? Give them the spotlight uh, quite a lot. Next stop. Uh, main event package. Of course we're going to do that. We're going to do a main event package uh, right here. So there it is. So that's all it's going to be for this one. Absolutely. Do we want, um, no, I guess it, it, it said on my thing, do not have any stipulation for the matches. I don't like to not have gimmick matches. Gimmick matches help out uh, quite a lot, but I guess the, the uh, my uh, my wheel thing tells me to go, if it tells me to go, not go for it, you know, because I want to have a, stipul a special stipulation. I want to have something, you know, something special happening, so. Living Dangerously, next pay-per-view, boys. Last one we're going to be doing for today. Let's see what the fans want. They want Ric Flair to retain the title. They want Mickey, to, uh, Mickey James to retain. Uh, Stone Cold to win the, the big-time match. And Rob Van Dam to retain his title. So they don't, want, they don't want any new champions or anything. So they did want to, um, Rob Van Dam to retain his title once again. They don't. They, they really don't want uh, Jake as the champ. I guess they don't want him at all. Let's just do a screw job finish. Get Rob Van Dam in there. Just up the the match as much as possible right there. So Rob uh, wins via screw job. I guess it is what it is right there. Uh, Jake is not very l happy right now. I don't know why it's. Uh, I don't know why it's always the wrestlers that are ha uh, super happy with me that actually want to leave, but the wrestlers are unhappy. Don't want to leave. I don't get it, boys, but it is what it is. The feud's going up, though. Feud's definitely going up. You can see all or nothing. It's definitely moving up quite, uh, quite, very quickly right here. All right, so this one right here, I want to go for uh, Mr. Perfect, probably, right? He's probably the one that needs the most right now. He's the most unhappy. Yeah, I think he's the one that's the most unhappy right now. So we're just going to give Mr. Perfect the win, boys. That's just how I roll, I guess, so. Mr. Perfect, boom, you get the win. Huge boost for him and popularity, everything. Just need his morale to go up again, boys. That's just how I roll, I guess. When it's not going to be a title match, I'm going to uh, make uh, give the win to uh, the one that's the most unhappy. want to keep my wrestlers around, you know. So uh, Kurt, uh, he's got all of this. All the, uh, all the other ones, they need a bit of a boost. Chris Benoit definitely needs a boost. He needs to get over. He's not over at all, but... You know, I'm trying my best right now. I'm definitely am. Uh, uh, what about... All right, so next up is going to be a feud package between Lita and Mickey James. 100% effectiveness. Really good. It's going to help out the feud quite a lot. It's now 45 of hype. Feud's uh, stepping up. Look at that. It's going up quite nicely. I like that quite a lot. And uh, re uh, Mickey James versus uh, Lita. Obviously, I'm making Mickey win for this one. The fans want that, and I want that as well. Pass out. Now if I do the pass out finish right here, heel turns face, face turns heel. Uh, is there, are there natural uh, gimmicks or anything? Mickey, Mickey is not a natural baby face or a natural heel. Same thing for Lita, so we can switch them around. Yeah, no problem. I can do that. Uh, a face turns to the dark side to win, uh, but the heel refuses to give up and ends up passing out. So Lita's got to win that match though. 
No, so it's won't, it won't work, yeah. I can't add that finish in particular because I need Mickey to win the match, so I can't add that one. But uh, we can always do the uh, by any means necessary thing, though. We can do that a respectful end. Mickey's got to win, boys, so no special finish. Just a clean up like that, just straight up clean. Mickey wins the t uh, retains the title once again. Four and a half star, kind of. It's a good match. It would have been a really good match if I we had like a, spe a special step, uh, finish to it. But I can't do it, boys. I just can't do it. I gotta give uh, Mickey or win this or push right now. So final push. Main event package, 100% effectiveness. Good. 118 of hype for this main event right here. They wanted Ric Flair to win. So we'll give them uh, the win for Ric Flair, I guess. No special finishes or anything. Let's just give them uh, give the win straight up for Ric Flair. Really good match. A five star match. So the main events are always going to be super good for me, I, go I, I guess. So really good match right here. Um, it boosts up everybody because it was a good one. So that's fantastic for me. Fantastic, boys. Uh, I like to see that. I, I, I really uh, like to see that. So the main event, uh, the pay per view itself, another four and a half star. Every single one of my pay-per-views are four and a half stars. What about my company? I'm interested to see. Sting is on the way to becoming a face of the company once more. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Mr. Perfect is getting happy, boys. It's now 65% of happiness, so he's getting up there. Jake Roberts is now 42%, so his morale went up, actually. Because he was at 39 or something. Our company goes up, yeah. Let me see really quick. Did it go up? Jake Roberts? Yeah, morale go, uh, went up for Jake Roberts. That's good. That's really good. I like to see that. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. So we gained 26K fans. Or kind of um, the same to zone right here. To another 96K fan uh, type of uh, deal right here. Uh, these two are not gaining a lot. I'm still gaining quite a lot of fans. So I'm going to pass them. Well, it's going to be a while before anybody passes... Uh, uh, WWF, especially when they have WrestleMania on, almost a million, uh, a million uh, show up, uh, almost a million fans and extensions right here. That's crazy. All right, so match of the year contender between The Rock, Undertaker, and Booker T. All right, that's kind of cool. I like that. All right, let's move up, boys. So the training was finished for um, Gail Kim. It's finished now. So let me see where she is at in terms of charisma. All right, she, she's good enough. She has two stars of charisma. She's good enough now. And uh, now we've got Bobby Eaton, who's already a manager. He's already set up, boys. Already set up as a manager. We don't need his work rate to be in there at all. We just need his charisma, and his charisma is just fine. So we can um, upgrade a wrestler right here. Whoever is the wrestler that needs the most upgrade, I don't know. All right, so I'm going to end it right here, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.